Myopia, also called nearsightedness or short-sightedness, is a common vision problem occurring in many children worldwide. It's been well recognized that it's more likely to affect and more prevalent in children of Asian descent. In fact, the incidence of myopia is greater than 70% as children approach their late teens in countries like Singapore and China. But what's even more worrying is that higher levels of myopia can lead to serious eye defects. One of the biggest challenges facing Singapore ophthalmologists today is the high prevalence of myopia, in particular among our children. We are really hoping to see a product that is safe, easy to use, and effective to control or manage this problem. The new designs that we're thinking about focus on manipulating the periphery and in fact the focus in the peripheral retina. And that's because when you have competing signals between the center of the eye and the periphery, our research shows that the peripheral visual signals dominate eye growth. And therefore we believe that the optimal strategy should be to design a lens that manipulates and produces the appropriate peripheral visual signal. And a distinct advantage of this strategy is you have the anti-myopia effects in the periphery, but you have the opportunity to have clear, unrestricted central vision. Finally, through six years of intensive and rigorous research and development, we now have the breakthrough lens from Zeiss that will revolutionize the eye care industry and will benefit millions of children worldwide, particularly Asian children. Myovision by Zeiss, the breakthrough spectacle lens that's clinically proven to reduce myopia progression by 30%. The uniquely designed Myovision promises therapeutic effects by providing sharp foveal vision while managing peripheral imaging through a unique and patented novel lens design. The Myovision lens is a unique single vision lens designed to correct both central and peripheral vision. In the central portion of the lens, it has a zone for clear foveal vision, which is spherical. On the outside, in the periphery of the lens, it has a relative plus power in order to correct for the relative hyperopic shift that is observed in most myopic eyes. When Earl Smith came out with the hypothesis that you could control the progress of myopia by curving the peripheral image on the retina and preventing the stimulus to the eye to grow. And he got together with our scientists like Professor Ho, working with Solius Van Ass in industry. What they did was design spectacles to reduce that peripheral stimulus to myopia. What happened when we tested those pilot study spectacles in 210 children in China was that the rate of progress of myopia in those children aged 6 to 12 with at least one myopic parent was reduced by 30%. That's very important because instead of becoming six diopters, they will become four diopters. Instead of becoming three diopters, they will only go to two diopters in myopia. But it also means that many children will not develop much myopia at all. After Earl Smith described to us his concept of how myopia can be slowed down, we started discussing some concepts of how to make this work in spectacle lenses. It didn't take us long to realize that you need some very sophisticated optical engineering to make this work. That's when we started working with Dr. Solis Farnas of Kalsai's Vision. Solis and I and the Vision CRC project team, we worked on a large number of lens designs. The result is the Myo Vision spectacle lens that we now have. The new lens design provides for clear distance vision. 
In addition, the lens also shifts the image at the retinal periphery, reduces blur, thus contracting the growth signal that results in elongation of the eye and thus myopia. It's quite an impressive result. A 12-month wearer efficacy research amongst 210 Chinese school children was carried out at the International Clinical Research Center at Sun Yat-sen University at Guangzhou. By working together with our international partners, we found young children with parent history of myopia have a 30% reduction with this new spectral lens design. It is a revolutionary breakthrough and offers a great promise in controlling the progress of myopia with optical devices. Ganjiang Kangkashu 我和我的先生都挺满意的。这个眼镜的设计比较独特，我原来还担心孩子在佩戴的过程里面会不会出现问题，但事实上在佩戴的过程里面，孩子没有任何的不适应。我想提到孩子戴这个眼镜的时候也